What's going on everyone? Welcome in, welcome back to the channel. This is Cadman Cycling. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're back for another Zwift race starting in Neokio. This is the Team Italy Specialissima race. Hope I'm saying that right on the uh, castle to castle route. So starting in Neokio will take us to Umezi and then ultimately finish back in Neokio. Category C race, pretty small amount of riders that start and a crazy fast start. So usually these Zwift races start quickly, but they're normally much larger groups. In this case, we kind of had, I think one rider off the front, just all out sprint and created this huge line of riders trying to put in some effort to catch him. Ultimately it comes together though. So 19 total, this created a, an early break though. So getting pretty strung out, but ultimately comes back together. Looks like it creates about, there's still, looks like 10 of us in this front group, but like I said, just about 23 kilometers here. So not a crazy short race. Uh, I actually raced this before stage five of race Macquarie. So my last few videos have been a and B of stage five of race Macquarie, but this was actually raced just before that. Uh, smaller group, but obviously the strategy stays the same. I want to sit in for as long as possible and then see if we can get to the finish. And if we can, with the front group, see what we can do at the finish. Castle to Castle is one of my, I wouldn't say favorite, but a, a route that I enjoy within Zwift. It kind of plays a bit more to the kind of rider I am. Uh, it has a little bit of climbing, specifically right at the start. Uh, but not a whole lot. So just over 100 meters, I believe, across 24 kilometers. Actually went ahead and skipped forward, but not too far. So we're just a mile in, 1.6 kilometers. We have this front group of 10, and all of a sudden a, a little bit of a break form. So we have another rider going hard off the front. Looks like he or she's really trying to break up this group. Looks like one rider jumped on with them. And I know it's a small group, so I... I need to be careful here not to entirely rely on this group to catch. Uh, looks like we have a third rider bridging, a fourth rider bridging. And now I know it's it can be a troublesome situation if we get a break of four up the road and just six back here behind. Uh, that could easily be gone. So I kind of get stuck in no man's land. Fifth place, four up the road. I kind of am starting to think, okay, I, I really should push. I really should shut this down. So. I decide to put in a quick effort there, just over 700 watts to try to get the speed up, try to catch this front group, just because I noticed I was in a dangerous situation. So usually as a rider, I'm always trying to sit in the draft, um, be as efficient as possible, not use energy when needed. But I kind of realized that I, I missed jumping on maybe that second, third and fourth riders who jumped across and I lost the benefit of the draft. but. That was really a threatening move. And as it turns out, uh, this move actually did lose a few riders. So I kind of burned a match early, um, but I'm happy that I did. I think it was really important to put in that effort when I did just to be able to jump back on. So I was the fifth rider to kind of jump across, make this group of five. Looks like we have one sixth rider who kind of did the same thing I did, maybe just a few seconds after me. So. He'll be catching on right now, uh, but we've actually dropped like those those four or five other riders behind us. So all of a sudden, this this race of 19 just becomes looks like a, a race of actually five of us right now. So I skipped forward to seven kilometers as we're getting to the the top of the Castle KOM, and there's just now five of us at this front group. So turns out that last rider actually wasn't able to catch back on. Uh, that that uh, that move being made up the road ended up sticking. So important that I was able to follow that. Again, burned a match, but really had to to ensure I could stay in this front group. So yeah, it's it's overall a pretty easy race. I think that's why a, a few attacks are being made. Uh, there were definitely more attacks here than I'm used to. A lot of times I join bigger races where it's a, a large front group that eventually gets to a sprint finish. And anytime there's maybe a short climb, a, a few riders will fall off the back, but ultimately leads to big sprint finishes. 
This one was a little bit different. Uh, just a smaller group, a couple early attacks. I think there were two or three different attacks in the first couple kilometers that ultimately got the, the group of maybe 10 in the first K down to now just a group of five. And it's interesting because overall it is a pretty slow pace. So my heart rate right now is at 175, um, but it is a bit elevated because we just finished a climb. So overall that's pretty sustainable for me. Uh, I should be able to, to keep that heart rate for the entire race and, and feel good going into the, the end of it. As I'm trying to super tuck here, just a little bit to save as much energy as possible. Um, it's not always easy on the Castle KOM. I think it's easier going down this way than the other way uh, to get at least a little bit of a super tuck in and take advantage of it where possible. Um, anytime that heart rate gets below 170 beats per minute, though, is, is ideal for me. So 8.5 kilometers in, uh, just descending now. So going down the Castle KOM, and then we'll eventually find our way back into Neokio for a finish. So goal here is to kind of continue sitting in Looks like we had one rider who was kind of falling off the back and put in a dig there. Ultimately realized they were going to slingshot and didn't want to. So kind of took their, their foot off the gas a little bit. But just hanging in for now. I've kind of marked this H. Johnson rider. Uh, he's the one that's made two or three of the attacks off the front, uh, which ultimately has helped this group become smaller. So... He's kind of been essential to, to this race and the positioning so far, but I know that he's the one to watch for. Uh, we're still in the first half of this race, so there's definitely a lot more games to be played. Um, yeah, much different than, than races that I'm, I'm used to. Lots of attacks. Um, I was luckily able to respond to all of them so far. So again, I'm just kind of hanging out in this group, trying to be as efficient as possible, but being ready, watching kind of the front to see if anyone makes a move. Just because when it is a small front group, uh, it's easier to make a move. If you get a breakaway of two, they could easily stay away from three. So we will go ahead, skip forward. So now we're at the 12 kilometer mark, just over the halfway point. And again, we have uh, kind of, we're going to watch a rider on the front just start to kind of pick up the pace. Again, it's H. Johnson making a move. He kind of gave a little dig there and then just decides to keep a pace around five watts per kilogram. So I was kind of watching for it. At this point, he's getting off the front, but I'm also realizing no one else is following him. So I actually ease off a little bit um, rather than jumping on with him, hoping that some of these other riders will actually be the ones to put in the dig. At this point, over 10 kilometers out, I'm not too worried if we didn't chase that just because that would be an extremely long time for one rider to try to stay away from a group of four riders behind, um, especially if we were working together. So I saw the move. I kind of was about to jump on it, but decided not to ultimately. Um, it would have been interesting if I did try to jump on and then if we could work together, but Ultimately, didn't didn't do much. It's all back together. Now we'll kind of sit in for the finish. We'll go ahead and skip forward. So two and a half kilometers. This is where it gets kind of interesting. So like I said, um, overall a pretty slow race actually. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. Legs are good. Heart rate stayed low. Again, it's been under this 180 beats per minute threshold pretty much the entire race. I'm starting to think of end of race strategies. Um, this is really one of the first times that I've had such a small group going into the finish line. And I'm really thinking about planning. So maybe at like the five or six K mark, I started thinking there's been so many attacks today um, and my legs are feeling really good. Like I could see value in maybe at a, a 2K mark or a 1K mark, kind of just hanging off the back of the group just like I am now, and then coming through with power and seeing if I can create a gap that would be sustainable. Um, again, that's not really something that would work well in a group of 20, just because there's bound to be riders that will jump on that attack pretty quickly, or just the group behind will stay big enough that they can, they can push and, and catch you pretty easily. But with a group of five, that's not always the case. And especially if I can kind of take them by surprise when I make that move, 
um, I, I think I really have an opportunity to do something that I haven't done in a race before. So again, is it maybe the, the best strategy for me to win this race? Probably not. I'd probably, if it's all about the win, just try to sit in and sprint at the line um, and see, see what I can do from about 300 meters out against the rest of these riders. But this is also a new situation for me. So I kind of want to try a different tactic. I originally told myself maybe I'll do it at two kilometers. That seemed a little bit far out. So ultimately, and I have this arrow too, um, but ultimately I'm thinking more about the, the 1K mark. So maybe it's less of a breakaway and more of just kind of going a little bit early at the finish. So kind of have that strategy down. I'm going to try it. First time I've ever done anything like this, but it's a, a bit of an experiment. And this arrow is the perfect thing to do it with. So I'll kind of drop back a little bit, um, let these riders get a gap, and then use that arrow, step on the power coming through, and see if I can catch anyone off guard. So that's exactly what I'm setting up right now. Uh, again, heart rate's pretty low. Legs feel really good, so I think I can get some power going. And here we go. So it was at about the 950 meter mark. I'm able to get over 1,000 watts with that arrow. And now it's just 800 meters, everything I can to the finish. I'm looking at the right-hand side, and immediately H. Johnson, uh, he's at 11, 10 watts per kilo and kind of holding it. Already at, at 600 meters left, and I'm starting to feel it. Uh, still able to keep over 500 watts, but I can see he jumped on, so he's just one second back. Uh, but I have gained about four or five seconds on the field behind, so... At this point, I'm seated. I'm just giving it everything I have. Heart rate's high, 193 beats per minute. And around the 200 meter mark is exactly where it's just, I have nothing left in the legs. Uh, H. Johnson comes through. He was able to jump on my move pretty quickly. I don't know if he saw it coming or if he just had the power in the legs. Um, again, just struggling to turn the pedals over. H. Johnson kind of slows down a little bit and I just have nothing left to give. So. Kind of an interesting strategy, decided to try it out. Um, turns out Johnson actually wasn't in Zwift power, so technically a win. Um, I don't know if I'd really count it as that though. I was just trying out a new strategy and had a lot of fun with it. So again, was that my best opportunity to win? Probably not. It probably would have been better if I just waited for a sprint finish, but legs felt good, heart rate was low. So decided to try something new with a small group and, and that's what Zwift is about always trying new things, trying new tactics, seeing what works, because if it doesn't work, it, it doesn't really matter. You can show up to the next race and, and try something different. So guys, this was an interesting one for me, definitely a, a different kind of race, a different kind of video, but hope you enjoyed. I'll be back out there soon. And until the next one, guys, this is Cadman Cycling. I'll catch you then. Bye.